Hey guys, Mark here, welcome to the channel. I'm not exactly qualified to talk about drones, but we are an RC channel, so here we are. This is the DJI Mini SE. It weighs 249 grams, so that gets you under like the weight limit of a lot of legal restrictions. But being so light, the wind is not your friend at all. It has a 2.7K camera on a three axis gimbal. Uh, the camera settings have some preset settings which can go up to 1080p, 60 frames per second. So that'll sort of kind of do a bit of slow-mo. Um, or the pro mode, you can adjust it yourself. It has a white balance warning, has a four kilometer max HD video transmission, and that works on Wi-Fi, so it's signal dependent. Um, trees, a lot of things can interrupt the signal, but yeah, it generally comes back. Um, has vision sensors to stop it crashing into things, apparently. Uh, precise GPS so that it hovers where you put it. It has four built-in preset cinematic moves. So that's a rocket, which goes straight up. The droney, which goes 45 degrees straight back and up away from you. The circle, which circles around your tracked shot, whatever you set it at. And I think it's called a whip, is the last one, um, which circles around and up and out at the same time. But that move requires a lot of room. So be careful like if you know any obstructions, trees, anything, power lines, you name it, will be in your way. In the box, I got the controller, the drone. Yeah, you get spare control levers, um, spare propellers, charging USB cables, and you get one battery. I actually, I had to buy the case and the second battery myself, but well worth the investment. So now I think it'd be easier to just go on a little tour. And let's have a look at my hometown, where I was born, and the Hunter Valley, etc. Let's go. Alright guys, you're about to get a bit of a look at uh, how vast and rugged our, what we call our backyard is and how far it actually goes. So uh, the trek to the waterfalls, mountain goat track and all that kind of stuff, you're about to find out how far that actually is. Um, I probably should have gone up further in this shot but this was like one of the very first times I'd used it. So I was still getting used to it, still a bit nervous. This is what we call the front yard. So, uh, yeah, somewhere right down the middle of that dirt road, there's a cattle grid, which marks the end of our land. Uh, that dirt road goes all the way up through the center of our place. So both sides of that road are ours. Um, yeah, you kind of even got the picture of where the caves is from there. Um, riverbed is much further all the way down that road. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say there. You can see how much rain we've had recently, eh? This is Lake Macquarie, which is in a, a suburb of Newcastle, which is where I was actually born before I moved out to the bush. And out to the farm, Lake Macquarie is a beautiful, stunning place. Um, this is actually trying to do, I think it was the whip move. We were trying off the end of the jetty here. But as you can see, this move takes a lot of room. We had to pull the pin on it because it was going to run into one of them trees on the shoreline. Apparently this is uh, one of the largest lakes in the southern hemisphere though, which is interesting. Uh, just a boat, trying a bit of a circle move around that. And this is the marina. Lots of nice boats there. Stunning place this. And back across there, across the point there, was where I used to live before I moved. And this is some of the floods that have happened recently in the Hunter Valley. So uh, this river here, or isn't meant to be a river. It's only ever a creek. 
uh, trees are not meant to be completely submerged underwater. But you can see there the lines on the side of the bank there, how far that water line has actually been up recently. Those trees are not meant to be totally underwater. This is absolutely unprecedented to see this much water in that little river. Oh, this is a train bridge. So again, this was meant to be just a little creek. This will really show you how much water and how much rain we've actually had up there recently. It's, it's just unbelievable to see, to be honest. Oh, and here we are back at work. We're actually chasing kangaroos. I thought it might be interesting to see whether we could get any closer to them with the drone. So, uh, yeah, this big fella seems to be friendly enough at this point. They're a little bit dubious of the drone, though, that's for sure. Couple of other ones there in amongst the grapevines. Yeah, so this is our learning curve of learning to use it, which led all the way up to me making that chapel video. Anyway, this is pretty much going to pull it up, this shot here, guys. So, peace out, guys. Thanks again for watching. You guys are absolute legends. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.